Hey hey, what's up guys? This is Huckroot15 here, and today we are going to be reacting to the brand new Fallout TV show by Amazon. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I'm really, really excited uh, for this. I remember a while back there was a leak of the first teaser trailer that came out for this. It's a bit different than this one, because I did recently had a watch of this when I woke up in the morning. And um, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I'm actually really, really fucking impressed. So, without further ado, even though I've already reacted to this, I want to actually give my inputs on it. So I kind of want to share my opinions on what I actually think about the show, or the teaser trailer. Because there's something very interesting about a lot of the stuff. So without further ado, we are going to you know, first we'll do a reaction of it, and then and then we'll go ahead and do the whole breakdown of what I think. This is personally my take. I'm not a professional Fallout analysis or anything like that. I played the games, but I'll use my knowledge from the games as kind of my take. And if there's anything like details or any minor stuff that I've missed out, feel free to comment down below uh, what I've missed. And yeah. So without further ado, let us react. So there's Vault 33. I know that I've lived a relatively comfortable life. The Vault Tech backpack, I want that. <laughs> Stop! Oh, there's the uh, dead, there's, there's the Vault, dead Vault Driller guy right next to her. So that's been confirmed. So this is Lucy, I believe. You need to go home. Vault Damn. Are an endangered species. Let's go a lot. It's got that Fallout 1 and 2 sort of vibe. It takes very, very hellscape desert. Yep. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. Who's that guy? Hey, dog me! Vertebrates, nice, nice. Fallout Four vertebrates, actually. This is the Brotherhood of Steel. So people have told me this is the West Coast Brotherhood chapter. Tomorrow, so they say. Oh my God! God damn, they look badass, chunky. A bright new sun will suddenly. Yeah, this one's actually kind of interesting. Why are they fighting? But I. That's the ghoul. Yep. I don't know what this dude's deal is. Hey! I grabbed a moldy one. This one's quite interesting. I kind of want to pause this. So, this might be the Overseer, I think. Um. There's a lot of. I like how everything's all Volt Tech locally. So, um. It seems like to me, and someone has pointed out that it seems like the vault dwellers have already shown signs of mutation. So mutation is a, like a kind of a big thing in Fallout. We don't really see a lot of like visual mutations in the game, besides the fact like you know we've got super mutants, ghouls, rat roaches, creatures, but we don't really see mutations on humans. We do see like. Um, because mutations are basically, they're like perks, right? They're kind of like, they kind of give the character unique traits to use. For example, like, you can be rad resistant, or the more resistant you have, the more damage you can have in the game. Um, you can jump higher, and, and stuff like that. They're kind of like unique traits you can have to help you kind of roam around the game. But, interestingly, we never actually see what kind of mutations they show in the games themselves. On humans, like, you know, growing a third limb. They do show it in, like, cartoon, like, sort of, like, um, animations and stuff. Like, what does radiation can do to you and whatnot. But, surprisingly, we're actually finally kind of getting this cool visual, like, live action of, like, oh, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a perfect example of what a mutation does to, to a guy. And stuff like that. And what what's more interesting is I think the director wanted to show that in 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 the making of this series so um yeah so i'm kind of interested how they're going to approach that so let's just keep going 
turrets. Nice. Mr. Gutsu. Damn, Yao guy. Is that ox style? Yeah, look, she's got a mutation on her head. <laughs> Oh, hang on a minute. What's happened there? Okay, this is like before. Right before. Pre war era. This is awesome. April 12th. So we head back there. So. This is him before he turned into a ghoul, and we can see in the background shot that I think this must be Los Angeles, LA. This must be daring the nukes drop, daring everything's getting held to shit. And it looks like he's picking up that might be like a son, I think. I think. Or daughter. I Sorry, I can't tell from here. But it just seems like. It just seems like they're trying to get away as fast as they can. Obviously, we know what's going to happen. But it looks like they're trying to attempt an escape. I kind of like how there's like he's got like these vault colors as well on him. I kind of thought he was wearing a vault suit, but he looks like he's just that's he that's his that's his actual attire. That's very interesting. He's he's been a cowboy his entire life. Um so I want to know what this deal is. Who are they being attacked from? Because the thing about Brotherhood is still is that to me, when I play the games, when they're wearing power armor, it seems like small arms far from raiders doesn't do a lot of jack, right? Pistols, rifles, they don't do jack against T60 armor, right? So I'm more interested in... What's happening here? Like, who is attacking the Brotherhood right now? Is it raiders that are heavily armed? Do they got... Um, do they have access to military weapons and stuff like that? To do this much damage to these guys? What kind of team is, is this? Like, is this a scouting team of the Brotherhood still? Or what? So I'm very interested in, like, what's really happening in this shot. Especially how we saw, like, a downed member of one of the Brotherhood. Because, uh... Yeah. And this stuff here too, the Yalgo actually the Yalgo is actually quite interesting. Because uh well it looks like he's missing a part there. I wonder how strong are our radiated Yalgo is against pre war armor. I wonder if they can pierce through uh power armor, because that would be very interesting, honestly. Yeah, that would be nuts, that's gnarly. This one's gnarly too. This one's also gnarly because like she's kind of got like a root sticking out of her head, her eye socket. So I'm like wondering as if she's also mutated. Well, why are they fighting each other? I don't know what's happening in the in the vault. Like, is it like is something raging inside? Did something release like a virus inside to make them all rage like that, or what? This looks like a little farm area because I see crops in the background. It's very interesting. There's a few theories behind this one from my take is either one, they've managed to disguise themselves as vault dwellers, which it's kind of that's kind of far fetched. Or something has been unleashed inside and it's making everyone fight. Or just like in Fallout 3, they want to leave the vault. They want to leave the vault. Um, another thing too, I don't know what Vault 33's experiment is, because vaults are, they're basically experiment vaults, right? They're like a social experiment made by the, by the US government, or the Enclave, sorry, or one of them. And they've kind of like, I don't know, like I'm really wondering like what is really happening here. Because there are some vaults that, that have done civil wars, right? There, ha there have been. So I wonder what this deal is. It's very interesting to me. They haven't shown any much about NCR yet. Because I think the... I think... 
judging from some of the uh, screenshots we had, like behind the scenes, there's a hint of NCR. So I'm not quite sure if the brothers still is fighting NCR as well, which would be very interesting. A bright new sun will this guy wants to kill. Through. Loving the wreckage. But I don't want to see tomorrow. I wonder why this guy's in these undies. I see. This one's kind of cool. I really like this. The bloody perk effect. It's great. Grab the moldy one. Grab the moldy one. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. Oh, I can see him. Yeah. Wow, I can actually see him horse riding in the background right there. If you guys didn't see that, if you guys did not see that in the trailer, right here, you can see him actually horse riding. It's kind of dangerous, did you think? Just horse riding in that direction, and then all of a sudden, you got nukes flashing off in the distance. Obviously, Nyx doesn't really make too much sense in the Fallout series. It's kind of silly. Especially, uh, I think a lot of people will say, don't look at where the nuke is being bombed because it will blind you. Apparently, that, uh, that is... Uh, realistically, that's that's how it works. So, <laughs> apparently. Look, I'm not, I'm not a nuclear expert. I'm sorry. I'm very... I apologize. I apologize. But, yeah. Goddamn. Oh, boy. So, yeah, you can actually see him horse riding right there. Right there. So, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Um, so, at the moment, that's my takes on it. Kind of kind of cool getting to see, like, a realistic rat roach, too. I think <laughs> you'd be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. I like how, I like that detail, too, that sudden detail, like, her being, like, startled by this rolling... Rolling ball <laughs> of uh, I forgot what's it called. It's rolling ball debris because this is her first time out in the wild, so obviously it's like, Whoa, okay, it's it, yeah, yeah, this is gnarly, man. It's nuts, it's nuts. I wonder how she's going to explore uh, uh, because I'm more interested in how they're going to utilize the pit boy as well. How are they going to utilize the pit boy and how they can utilize like what direction are we going? Where are we going? basically. And what is the goal of Fault 33? What is the goal of her mission right now? So, yeah, we'll see how we go, man. Honestly, I'm really excited because there's a lot of new possibilities with this Fallout show because everything feels familiar, which is great right now from this trailer that we're seeing. And, like, I'm more interested in what we're going to get because it could be a free fall of what kind of creativity that the director is going to be utilizing. Um, because obviously he's going to be using a lot of existing material and there might be some new material, um, that we haven't seen before. So this is great. I'm kind of excited, honestly. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, that's my take on it. Uh, what do you guys think of the teaser trailer? What are some details that I've missed? There's got to be a lot of details I've missed because I was paying attention to a lot of cool gnarly stuff, man. But without further ado, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for now. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>